CBS 11 News at 10 o'clock officially on the air here at the top of the hour, and it has turned into a mass arrest on the Margaret Hunt Hill Bridge. Live from Dallas and Fort Worth, this is CBS 11 News at 10, the ones for Texas. Hi, everyone. Once again, Doug Dunbar, the CBS 11 News team tonight, live with the continuing coverage of the protests in Dallas and Fort Worth and Denton tonight and all across North Texas that has turned into a sizable event in Dallas when you look at the amount of people who are being arrested at the moment. And as we get underway, uh, let me set the, set the scene, what's happening here, and then we're going to bring in Andrea Lucia, who is uh, on the bridge tonight with those protesters. Began with an assembly of protesters earlier this evening. Uh, Andrea, that was at the uh, Dallas Police Headquarters. They started marching. And uh, walk us through exactly the moments that led us up to the bridge and what is happening now. Yeah, Doug, this rally that was uh, that was scheduled was initially supposed to take place at Dallas Police Headquarters before it even really got started, before its scheduled start time. It was moved to the Frank Crowley Courthouse. Uh, fast forward hours later, this is where we have ended up on the Margaret Hunt Hill Bridge. You can see behind me people in zip ties. They are sitting along the sign of the bridge here uh, with law enforcement around them. Um, and they are being arrested. This is just a, a small sample of the number being arrested. If you take a look to the right, you can see some of them that are being led away right now on the other side of the bridge. That is where most of the people who were coming across are located and where most of the arrests are taking place. Uh, they are being led onto a shuttle bus uh, where we believe they will be taken to the jail. Now, again, uh, this was a rally. Uh, there were hundreds of people that were gathered at uh, Dallas County's Frank Crowley Courthouse on the steps there. Uh, there were uh, more than a dozen speakers easily. Uh, they were talking about George Floyd's death. They were talking about some of the issues with police that have upset them. Uh, and then at some point, they took to the streets and they began, they began marching. Um, where they were, the Frank Crowley Courthouse, that is right on Riverfront Boulevard. And Riverfront Boulevard is actually the boundary of the curfew zone. Uh, that uh, where the curfew is now in effect, they were warned, uh, you know, that if they violated curfew, they would be arrested. And, and they said, uh, before the rally even gets started, one of the organizers, uh, Dominique Alexander, told me they intended to violate that curfew. As they were marching, they passed police. You can see down at the bottom of the bridge, you can see where police are assembled. Uh, there are a lot of police out tonight. The marchers just walked right by them. They were given warnings and they continued on. They continued on up here onto the bridge. Once they got up onto the bridge, they were walking across it uh, and we heard blasts, probably two, three, four of them, uh, followed by smoke from what was uh, obviously tear gas being deployed. That's when some people did turn around, some people were able to leave, um, others walking off the bridge said they encountered police coming to arrest them and there were police now on both sides those protesters that were here a lot of them sat down uh, things have been uh, peaceful from what we have seen people ha don't seem to be resisting at all police came they gave orders people complied but it has resulted in these mass arrests and it is hard from where we are standing to get really an exact count of how many people we're talking about uh, but it is likely in the hundreds Doug the only thing we heard uh, just a few minutes ago, uh, I don't know if you were able to overhear Brian News' conversation with one of the protesters who actually managed to make it off of the bridge without being arrested, uh, but he, uh, he said he felt that they were set up in a little way, kind of like, uh, you know, they, they accessed the bridge, they were walking across, and according to his uh, story this evening that he shared with Brian, he, he said he felt like the group, uh, and I'm paraphrasing, kind of fully intended to be able to walk off the other side of the bridge. and. And in his thought, uh, he said there was frustration over the fact that he felt that they were kind of cornered on the bridge. However, however, that is, uh, you know, playing out. It's it's everybody's thought. But I haven't heard anything from you based on what you've seen and what you've heard this evening that uh, sounds like any kind of at least loud vocal frustration that you've heard, right? Well, there were some people. I mean, I didn't hear somebody say that they can't arrest us without letting us uh, have a way out. Um, and being here on the bridge, we did have law enforcement coming from both sides. So, 
Uh, we did feel a bit cornered, a little boxed in. I know members of the media were a bit concerned that we would sort of get shoved in there and that we might end up getting arrested as well. Right. Um, so th there was that sense of being boxed in a bit. Um, but you know, th there were warnings when, when people started walking on the bridge. So um, people did know. I mean, it was quite obvious that we were passing police, um, that that was not going to be allowed. And then once they got on the bridge, you know, there wasn't really anywhere to run. There were police on one end of the bridge, there were police on the other end of the bridge, and they were coming from both sides. And of course, from what we could see, they used that tear gas on one side to really, to really stop people. And and being on the bridge, uh, you know, we can't get off it, right? We're over, uh, you know, we're, we're suspended. There's not, you can't jump off the side of it without hurting yourself. So um, we've been pretty much stuck up here. And police have been going around telling people to lie down and telling them we'll be arrested not giving them an option at this point. So at this hour, we continue on the bridge with basically uh, dozens, if not more, uh, of people sitting down in, in zip tie handcuffs waiting for buses. The amount of people, Andrea, that were on the bridge, they're going to need quite a few buses, I'd imagine. And we've seen a number of them. We've seen police. Let's see if I can give you, we can give you a shot right here. If you take a look down uh, toward the end of the bridge, you can see how many police cars we're talking about. There, there are a lot of vehicles out here. Um, we've got shuttle buses out here. We've got law enforcement vehicles out here. There's just a huge presence of law enforcement. And some of those cars you've seen continue to arrive as we've been up here. Um, and we've seen them continue to fill those shuttle buses and, and take off. I don't know if those shuttle buses are going to the jail and coming back. It's a short drive um, or if there's more of them arriving as we've been here. But we can see that we can see the jail from where we are. I think I've mentioned that from where we are standing. We can see the jail where they are likely being taken. Right, the jail not too far off in the distance. And as we've discussed through this evening, uh, even prior to officially going on the air with the news at 10 o'clock, uh, the numbers game tonight at the Dallas County Jail is going to be pretty interesting because it, it takes uh, a fair amount to book just one person into the jail, and they are going to be flooded with hundreds this evening. Uh, Brian knew the uh, the process will somehow play out uh, in downtown Dallas. Talk to me about where you are, what you're seeing now. Yeah, so we're at the bottom of the bridge, and we have seen Doug. A uh, few people come down, and police officers have actually let them go while others here have been um, cuffed with zip ties, and they're being arrested. It's unclear why police have let a few of these protesters go. Um, but for the most part, they are they are being arrested. Those that we talked to that were let go said that they weren't given an explanation of why they were being let go. They they mentioned a, a tense situation up at the bridge, but they they did mention that they knew going into tonight that they were warned. Police Chief Hall warned them tonight at 6:30 at the, the protest out in front of the police station that she supports the protesters, but she said they will enforce a curfew at seven o'clock. Um, so we're seeing kind of at the bottom here, we're looking up at the, the bridge, and you can see a few individuals down here, some of the protesters who have been cuffed and that are going to be arrested. They're here at the bottom. They're holding them here. But we are seeing, um, we've probably seen, Doug, about six or eight people being let down. We actually saw a group coming down with officers, and then when they got to the bottom of the bridge, um, they actually shook hands with the officers, and the officers let the protesters go. Yeah. Brian, this, this last day or so, we have seen more and more of those kinds of images that you just described, and also while you were speaking. The officer that's uh, standing behind the gentleman who you see right in front of you, the Dallas police officer, the, uh, I believe it might be a female officer who has uh, full gear on. She's got her gas mask on as well, uh, just in case she were to get caught up in tear gas, but taking that bottle of water and offering it on what is a, and Brian, you know you're out there, it is a hot and a humid night out there. It's The air is thick, and apparently maybe the gentleman uh, in the foreground here with uh, looks like maybe a backpack on uh, maybe had requested and asked for some water, and, you know, right. the, the police were able to help him out and give him some water, and it was offered to those uh, two other people sitting next to him, I saw. Uh, Brian, thank you. Stand by. Don't go anywhere. I want to bring in the west side picture tonight, and that is the city of Fort Worth.